Uh, continuing this great conversation with the director of, of athletics, Vic Seglis. Vic, it's not only athletic prowess that is important in your program, but also academic excellence. Let me share with our viewers just a few facts. For the second consecutive year, all NCAA teams scored above the required 925 in the APR, the only CSU school to do so. 230 student athletes were recognized as academic all-stars with a 3.0 GPA or better, and 28 with a 4.0 or better. Uh, the president and you stressed the importance of academics. I, I, I think it's a given when we uh, talk to coaches and 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 uh, recruit coaches, and we say, "Hey, we are expected to graduate our student athletes." And I and, and it all comes down to, you know, you have to recruit kids who want to be here, and maybe they might come in here with some some limited uh, ability as far as their academics. But if they want, they go to class and they go to the tutoring and the support that we provide them academically, they will graduate. And I, I know you have faculty mentors that help. Uh, we have faculty mentors. We have tutors. We have, we have people in the community who volunteer as tutors. So we've got the Bickerstaff Center is a pretty special place. And I think and being at some of the schools I've been, we're second to none, even some of the, the Pac-10 schools, in terms of what we provide in terms of assistance well, for us. as a faculty member at Long Beach State, I'm into that, that you take the academic side seriously. Yeah, well, no, no question. I mean, that's, I went, to, I went to Bucknell University. You're a Princeton guy. You know, it, it student athlete is a student athlete, and we believe in that. I believe in it, and certainly the president, who was a pretty good student athlete in his day, and he still shoots them. I, off, I hear he shoots with a with a basketball well, team. Well, he he gets play, he plays sometimes. Well, he he, they, he, he was loves scoring, to play he basketball. He was scoring too many points in the scrimmage, so well, they took. Well, we two. play we play every Thursday morning, six o'clock in the morning in the pyramid. We get a bunch of guys. The president plays, and he loves to play. He's re, he's a good player, and someone blocks his shot, and I'm I'm trying <laughs> to, I'm trying to remind these kids like you can't block his shot. <laughs> he's a president of the university in that, but but he understands what the experience means in terms of. You know, student development, and, and I think what it must important. mean to students to have the president scrimmaging with you. What well, a sign of respect! Well, yeah, and and we don't have students; we have staff, and I think it really he interacts oh, with staff? staff and students. Oh, yeah, I never heard about that. Yeah, we have donors that come; we have oh. sponsors. It's a pretty good six group. o'clock. Yeah, you're going to show up. We'll we'll think about it. Okay, okay let's turn to men's basketball because that, to me, is the the gold star of your whole program: turning men's basketball around. I think is is the key to the whole thing, and I went to quite a few of the games last year, and I noticed increasing student attendance, student support, student involvement, and and obviously progress with the team. But speak to men's basketball. Well, as I said, you know my job is is really if you hire good coaches, it makes your job easier. And I think with Dan Munson, who's starting his third season uh, this year, and he's into it, and uh, you know we're playing. He's done an outstanding job. I mean, when he first got here, the, the cupboard was bare. We had junior college kids that went to the tournament, and so there's really nobody behind them to support the program. So we struggled that first year. But he built Gonzaga. He uh, knows what it takes to become an elite mid-major, and that's the goal that we have set, and we talk all the time. Our schedule this year, and we're into it. Now, you, let me just stop you there, because the schedule is a very rough schedule. You guys deliberately schedule competition preseason against major basketball powerhouses. Why did you do it? Well, we did it, you know, and, it, and it's... Because that's not going to look good on the... Well, it's, the Notre, it's Notre, Dame, Notre Dame, Texas. <laughs> Notre Dame, Texas, Duke, Kentucky. And we did it because... You get some money, of course. Well, we get, we, yeah, we get money, we get guarantees, which is important to us in terms of taking care of our programs that we have. But we sat down and we talked about it, and he knows that I'm not going to evaluate him based on going to Duke and playing in front of the Duke Crazies. Uh, that we win, but we know that we want to compete, and we think the, the experiences the kids will have from playing those teams will carry over into the season, into the Big West, and then into the to the Big West tournament, which the winner goes to the NCAA. Well, there's a saying in athletics, I'm sure you know, about playing up against better competition Correct. brings your Correct. game up. It, yeah, it elevates our game, but it gives experience. It helps you recruit. You can recruit better players because some of the kids that come here. They weren't. They wouldn't be a choice of Duke 
or Texas or Notre but Dame. But they so can they, play against They want to prove that they can play against them. So it helps recruiting. And maybe we'll get lucky and, and get well, a win. But I, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's a matter of luck. I okay. think we'll be very competitive. We okay. might win one of these games. Yeah, yeah. And I think down the road we might win several of them. What happens then is your, your um, uh, rating goes up. And uh, therefore, then teams come play you at home, and they play you play you at home. Then certainly, uh, then you you can generate more revenue, so you can help build your programs, and and that's kind of the goal that we have set. Well, there but, uh, seems to be last year, and I certainly ho would hope it would continue this this growth in the the energy of the basketball program, the performance of the team, the enthusiasm of the students. In the, in the rallies, we we we, really, we we have what we call Munson Maniacs for basketball. <laughs> so, you know, we 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 have over 1,200 kids that signed up, and we have some student leadership there. Well, they got paint. They and paint themselves signs. up, but they have they have T-shirts. Everybody yeah, has yeah. a Munson Maniac T-shirt. They yeah, stand. Yeah. You know, a home crowd atmosphere, and that yeah, yeah. makes college basketball. And we different. both know what college basketball could mean with a full stadium cheering. It just creates a electricity of energy. Plus, plus, you know, to me, it, it's um, student the student experience. Yeah, it's about going to lectures and laboratories and library, yeah. but it's also about you know having a college experience where you're excited and proud of your university. Amen to that. We'll be back with more of the co not the coach, the AD after these messages.